Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to use motion pilot flock settings with the new puppet stage animation feature in Cartoon Animator 5.3. If you're not yet familiar with the basic flock settings, please check out our dedicated tutorial first. We'll walk through a few scenarios here to explore the transform, wave, and motion features in motion pilot and how they can be used with puppet stage. Let's start off with the basic transform example using these two fish. With a large blue fish selected, we'll enable the Motion Pilot tool and open up our flock settings at the bottom. Currently, Mimic Leader is enabled with no delay. If I multi select with the blue fish selected first, it will automatically be assigned as the leader object, and both fish will move in unison, which would be great if they were in a synchronized swimming competition. However, if we disable the Mimic Leader checkbox, the clownfish will behave differently according to the parameters we set in the Transform section. In this case, it will move faster along the x-axis. We can differentiate the clownfish's behavior a bit more by choosing the Turn option, which will create a smoother turn as opposed to a jerky change in direction. These are a couple of basic parameters that you can adjust to add variety to your Transform movements. Let's look at some of the parameters in the wave section next. In this project, we have three separate spotlights, and in the wave section, you can see a 30 degree rotation set, while the flock settings show a uniform 8 frame delay from the leader object, which will give us behavior like this. Let's select the second light, and instead of rotation, let's select move amplitude. You'll see now that it will move back and forth in a linear fashion along the x axis. If we choose Step from the Tween Mode drop down menu, you'll see the difference as the light now jumps around along the x axis. We can disable Mimic Leader in the flock settings to preview both lights in action simultaneously. For the third light, let's try Scale Amplitude and set our W range from 0 to 100. This will create a cool looking effect as if the light is being repeatedly shot into the sky as it scales up and down. We can preview again to see all three in action simultaneously without any flock behavior. Ok, let's explore the settings in the motion section next, in this scenario where we want four separate characters to walk at their own pace. Let's take a look at their individual transform settings first. Our tall dude has an X value of 0.8 and his own walking motion loaded in, while the older gentleman with the cane is a bit slower at 0.3. The child on the other hand is at 1.6 with a running animation. We currently have mouse movement control enabled, so when I preview, I can control the kids running according to my mouse movements. If we increase the speed value, the motion will play faster with less mouse movement. You can use a combination of this and the transform value we saw earlier to customize the look of your character's locomotion. You can see the behavior of the old man and the dog too, according to their own unique values and loaded motion clips. Now if we use the simple Mimic Leader option while previewing, all of the characters will copy the leader's motion. Since the dog has a quadruped skeleton, it won't be compatible with the biped animation and will therefore remain motionless. As with the previous examples, disabling Mimic Leader will allow each character to revert to their own dedicated settings, allowing you to control multiple unique character motions simultaneously. Ok, let's look at how we can use flock behavior with the cool new Puppet Stage tool next. Puppet Stage allows you to control your character's behavior in your scene like a video game, with hotkeys for different actions. For a more detailed intro, please check out the Getting Started tutorial. In this scenario, we have two characters set up with two puppet stage motions each, a default idle, and an action that can be triggered with the Q hotkey. You can see our ghost fighter has a cool jump kick, while the cute little ghost has an impact reaction. By combining puppet stage with motion pilot, we can actually animate them both simultaneously for an interactive combined result. If we preview with Mimic Leader selected, you'll see their idols synchronized together, which seems a bit strange, so let's disable that and preview once again to see them each exhibit their own unique idols with different timing. 
Pressing the Q action key will cause them to trigger their motion simultaneously here, which doesn't make sense unless the ghost is really bad at timing his fight choreography. What we need to do then is in the ghost's flock settings, change the follow object delay to the proper option, and set a reasonable time delay to allow time for the ghost fighter to reach the kicking part of the animation before the ghost's reaction is triggered. Now he's got his timing a bit better. Okay, for our last example, let's look at how we can synchronize prop effects with character actions. You can see in the sprite editor that this prop has a sequence of sprites to simulate an explosion. If we select the effect prop and go into puppet stage, we can see that the first sprite will remain on the screen until it is triggered, then it will disappear, which looks weird. To fix this, we need to add a show hide motion card which can be found when expanding the motion bar. Clicking the pin icon on the top right will define it as the default motion or state, and we can drag it to the left as well. Then click on always hide to ensure that it will only appear once the explosion sequence is triggered. Ok cool! We now know how to trigger a magical explosion using the Puppet Stage tool. Let's synchronize it with our character's actions next. This time she has a ground pounding action that is triggered with the same Q hotkey. Once again, let's go into our flock settings for the effect and change the delay type, this time with a 10 frame delay. Nice. Ok, let's bring our ghost back into the mix now. You can see that we've set his flock settings to a further 3 frame delay, which will occur after the explosion, also triggered by the same hotkey. That's it for this tutorial on combining Puppet Stage with Motion Pilot flock settings. Thanks for watching, and have fun animating!